All right. Hello, my fellow investors. It's the Intelligent Investor here. In today's video, we will be talking about AMC and GME. But before we start the video, guys, use the link in the description down below to sign up with Acorns. Once you sign up with Acorns, you're going to be entered to win a free stock, and that free stock will be Coca-Cola. Now, if you didn't win this previous stock giveaway for signing up with Acorns, your name will still be pushed to this stock. So you'll have a chance to win this stock now. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be doing that this weekend. Um, also, guys, once we hit 6,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing an Apple stock giveaway. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, guys, and you'll have a chance to win this free stock. Now, let's start with the video. Now, we're talking about GameStop and AMC. Now, both of these stocks are in a little bit of, I wouldn't say trouble, but it's looking less likely that they're going to squeeze. From doing research, I mean, AMC still has potential to go up. GameStop, I feel like it's it can have one little good squeeze and then it's going to drop from there. But the reason I say that is because if you see the volume on these stocks, they've been trending down and they still have a pretty decent volume. Um, and the reason that that's happening is because people are selling off. So people are doing option trades, swing trades and day trades with GameStop and AMC. And... AMC, like I said, it's a bit safer than GameStop, but focusing on GameStop right now, um, people are saying, yeah, diamond hands, all this stuff, but they're not holding the stock. They're trading it. They're buying it and selling it. Okay. They're doing swing trades and day trades, like I'm telling you, and that's going to cause the stock to be covered, which means the shortage is going to be less likely to happen. That squeeze, I'm sorry. Um, so the shortage is being covered. The squeeze like I said, it's looking less and less likely. We all hoped it would have hit $1,000. I still hope it hits that price or at least $500 or something, right? I'm still hoping you guys get a huge chunk of your money. Um, but the reason I'm saying it's looking less likely is because, again, like I said, everybody's playing the game now. Um, there are people that don't care about Diamond Hands. They're not holding the stocks. They're selling it. They are, you know option trading it which means you know they're buying at a certain price selling it at a certain time once they cover their call um and that's happening a lot um it's being fluctuated very much amc the same thing um amc like i said it has more potential just because of the possible merger and all that stuff for the acquirement of netflix or um amazon and we just don't know where amc is going to go yet from my research amc is still looking likely to bump up but GameStop is looking like it's a danger. So if you have money, I'm just saying I'm not giving you financial advice. Just letting you guys know to be careful. Keep an eye on out, <laughs> an eye out on this stock, and a little bit of AMC, but more of GameStop because it's a little bit in the danger zone. Um, again, this stock is just being traded too much. The stocks that are being, I mean, the shares that are being there afloat are being traded like crazy. They are being purchased and traded, and people are locking in profits, taking, you know their trades you get me and they see the money there they see the opportunity to take advantage of people and they're doing it before people the reason it was squeezing so high up is because people kept buying it a lot of people are just holding now and they are not buying so for me i'm not buying gamestop at 200 right now or at 199 a lot of you guys aren't buying at 199 so this stock cannot be pushing up if people aren't buying it if they're holding then it's staying at a stable price the only time it's going to start pushing up is when the demand is acquired and it's being bought. OK, so that can still happen. It can still push up a bit more. But the reason I'm saying this is that I don't think it's going to squeeze to a thousand or none of that stuff because of that reason alone. It still can. And I, like I said, I'm hoping I'm hoping it does. I really hope it does. So you guys can get a huge win. But I mean, People aren't diamond hunting anymore. They say they are, but they're not. And the reason you could see it is because the way the stock is being traded. Um, it's showing it. And again, it's just not pushing the way it was. Um, people are getting bored of it and selling out of it. People are losing momentum in it. And it's just not looking like it's going to do what it did before. Um, but I mean, I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. I'm not trying to put you guys down or anything. I'm just here being honest with the information is given me, um, what my research is telling me. This is just pretty much what I'm telling you guys. Again, I just want you guys to be safe and not lose all your money here. Um, so again, just be careful. I hope you guys make those huge profits still. I hope it still squeezes hard, but if it doesn't just be safe guys. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.